Hello lovely Virgo, how are we doing? I hope you're well and I hope you're looking forward to this reading. So this is a general reading for Virgo for May for 2023. So let's get into it shall we Virgo. Let's have a look at the first week. So the first week we've got the Let It Go card. So, <coughs> excuse me. So maybe something's been going down, maybe something's been stressing you right out, maybe something's just, you've been overthinking a situation or procrastinating on it, or it's just something that's eating you up a little bit, I think, on the inside. I feel like you've, or maybe you've even just got a grudge going against something, but there's something that's eating you on the inside that you're allowing to happen. And this card has come up to remind you to say, just let that shit go, Virgo. Let that shit go. Um, let it go and just unburden yourself, weight in the load. Wait, wait, that's not even what I meant to say. <laughs> lighten the load, lighten the weight of the load is what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, put put some of it down. Just let go. If you can't control it and it's not it's not yours to carry, let it go. If you can't change it, let it go. I know it's easier said than done. Sometimes it's not just that easy, is it? A card comes up and says let it go, and you go, oh okay, I'll let it go. <laughs> But work on letting it go and keep working on letting it go until you feel better about the situation there, Virgo. Because um, it's just going to burden you. It's just going to weigh you down and make you feel low. So if you can let it go, let it go. If you can't, try working on letting it go bit by bit if that helps. But that first week is just really supportive of just letting stuff go that no longer serves us and just being free and look how happy she is she feels she she sort of looks light as a feather happy zero fucks given and <clears throat> she is living her best life so that's what i want you to do virgo in that first week if something comes up to challenge you or it's already been challenging you that week is a really sort of supportive week for letting all those things go that we just need to, just too heavy for us to carry and we just need to put them down and just give yourself a break. And then let's have a look at that second week. So the second week we've got the friendships card. So I feel like the second week, if you sort of go and spend some time with your really good friends, have a giggle, have a chat, support each other, do something fun, it's going to help you get over this a lot quicker. And we all know that once we once once we talk, a problem shared is a problem halved, isn't it? And then, not only that, but our friends are really good at helping us see things from different perspectives and validating us and stuff, and just helping us to, excuse me, to let it go, um, and to move forward and just have a nice time. And do you know what I mean? Just sort of. Um, rewrite this energy by having a good time with your friends basically is the bottom line there Virgo so let's have a look at the third week so the third week after you've sort of been through whatever journey you're going through at the moment with this energy that you've had to sort of work on letting go and cheering yourself up with your friends you then sort of left with right what do I do next so this card's just saying realign refocus um just rebalance yourself and just figure out right i may have just got a little bit lost off my path i may have wandered off track a little bit so well how can i pull myself back into alignment back into where i'm supposed to be going back onto the right path um and what ways can i make that happen that third week is just really good for doing that so maybe just have a little time in meditation or just planning your next step of attack that kind of thing and seeing what your next move is going to be and then look we've got this card this is the best card you can get after that really um so don't worry Virgo, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, just do the work, let it go, spend some quality time with your friends and have a chat with them about whatever is bothering you and then come back to yourself, realign, figure out your next plan of attack and what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward and then in the fourth week it's just it's just that whole yes queen card so it's going to be okay there virgo it's going to be okay um things are going to be fine this is going to sort of really put you on the right path and you're going to start getting those positive results that you want and you're going to be able to move forward with confidence with ease success and abundance and you're going to feel good about it look this this is the sun shining down on her and she's just joyous feeling that energy so 
take some time to realign this month after you've let this energy go and you'll notice a massive difference and you'll notice results there Virgo <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so I hope you enjoyed that reading Virgo um and I uh, I hope you are looking forward to the next reading next month. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, give me a thumbs up or a comment or a share. Don't forget to ring the bell notification icon if you want to be notified when I upload a video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I will see you again next month for the next reading. Bye for now.